Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick seasonal coverage of the preview build. So let's jump right into Vigor's Season 10 Vengeance. Alright, so to start, I should mention that we have not received any information on the Battle Pass or its contents yet, and that will be a completely separate video coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. In terms of what we do have to talk about today though, let's start with the new gun. The LED 5A1 is a gold assault rifle that fires 5.56 in both full auto and single. This gun's recoil in third person is really low, and it seems to have a bit less kick than the AUR at the cost of some extra blue. And it has a completely unique style of first person recoil animation. If you look at this clip where the L85 is firing, and this clip with the AUR, then you can see that the L85 tends to hold its sight picture a lot better. Honestly, this gun has me slightly concerned for its potential to become a strong meta due to its astounding versatility with the 4 times scope, but we'll have to wait until it releases to the public to say anything for sure. Moving on from that, we have the largest piece of content in this update that I also think is the most disappointing. The damn map, called Kirsten in-game, has only been added as a shootout map. You can see from here that there is definitely some rendered space beyond the borders of it, indicating that there will eventually be an encounter version. I'm not gonna lie, this seems way too claustrophobic for shootout. Maybe some people will like it, but from a level design perspective, this just seems to be a lot worse than Sawmill, with a lot more third-person peaks and less long-range engagement opportunities. My guess would be that devs either ran out of time and couldn't finish the entire map, or some game-breaking bug came up with the encounter version and they just decided to release the shootout variant. Either way, it's still disappointing, and I think most of us were expecting an encounter map with all the teasers, but either way, beggars can't be choosers and I'll take what I can get. Now, for this season's consumable, we have the flashbang, as well as some adjustments to the throwing UI. You can now throw in two styles of arches that are pretty similar, just one is a bit steeper. The flashbang is a purple throwable that temporarily blinds you and any opponents within a certain radius, regardless of what direction you're facing when it detonates. Sometime next week I'll make a flashbang mythbusters video, just like I did with the grenades, so expect a poll coming soon on all our various platforms, asking for suggestions on what to test with them. That's about it for raw content, but real quick let me just run down the smaller changes. In terms of weapon balance, the KS-23 and Sawed-Off are now secondaries. Really, this should do wonders for their amount of use, as this has been requested by the community for a while now, but still there aren't any upgrades to their actual performance, so we'll have to wait and see how it really ends up affecting their weapon frequency long term. And then lastly, we have some UI changes. With that, they changed the little bar for the boosting indication, and there is no longer a limit for how much you can boost. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this quick coverage of the new update. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.